Welcome to another Affinity Photo tutorial. Today we're going to be creating an abstract background. This is actually pretty easy to do, but you end up with a pretty uh, elegant looking background. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll start off by opening up a new file. We'll make it 1920 by 1080. Uh, so the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to create our basic uh, gradient that we're going to use. So let's come over and grab the, the rectangle tool. And let's drag out a rectangle and we're going to grab the gradient and we're going to get and fill this in. And so the first thing we're going to do is take this top color and let's go with a kind of a lightish gray. Let's add in another node there and we'll make this a little bit darker. Let's add in another node down here. Come back up and bring it up and make it a little bit lighter. And then this last one will go with a reasonably dark gray. And then we just need to move these nodes around a little bit. Maybe play with the colors just a hair to give us a little more depth, something like that. So we kind of look like we have a little bit of a wave going on. And that's good for now. All right, so what we're going to do now is just move this up just a little bit. And let's go ahead and option drag that down. And we'll snap it in place there, and then we're going to arrange that and flip it vertically. And then we're going to option click and drag that down again. And we're going to shrink this one down a little bit. May even take this one here and shrink it up a little bit. We want to create a little variety in the, in the shapes here. And we'll option click and drag down again. Maybe flip this one vertical as well. Drag it out. And maybe one last time, drag another one down and just shorten it up. All right, now that we have those shapes all together, let's go ahead and group those. So we'll group those. And what we're going to do is we're just going to rasterize those. We're not going to rasterize and trim them. This way we have a little bit left on the side of the uh, canvas. And now that we have that, let's go ahead and duplicate that two times. So we have three layers of that, Command-J and Command-J. And let's hide the bottom two for right now. We'll start working with the top one. So what we need to do is we need to distort this into the shape that we want. So let's go ahead and grab the uh, the Mesh Warp tool. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over about a third of the way over from the left. And let's just drag down on that top a little bit like that. Grab this upper right-hand corner and create kind of a, a wave there. And here really, you know, you can just play around with it, kind of get the shape that you want. It doesn't have to be perfect. It could be anything that you find interesting. So I'm going to start with that and apply that. And then I'm going to drag this down to the bottom of my canvas right about there. Let me size it up a little bit. All right, so that's going to be the very bottom of the uh, background. And let's go ahead and add a recolor to that. And for today, let's just going to make that like an orangey color like that. That works. All right, so now let's uh, drag that onto that layer so it's just attached to that one layer. Let's turn on the middle layer here. And we're going to do kind of the same thing. We're going to come in and distort this. And we'll probably do this a little bit differently over here. So let's, uh, let's maybe go in the opposite direction with this a little bit. And the important thing is to have some fun with it, you know, kind of get it the way you you imagine it looking in your mind. And we'll go ahead and apply that. And we're going to drag this one up to the top here like that. Maybe rotate it a little bit. And then we're going to add a recolor to this as well. And this time let's come over and uh, give it a little bit more of like a, a purplish pink. We'll drag the lightness up a little bit. And let's change the, uh, well, let's go ahead and drag that onto that layer so it's attached to that layer. And let's change the, uh, the blending mode on this one to lighten. That looks good like that. And maybe we'll bring the opacity down just a hair. And then finally, let's take our bottom layer here. And we're going to do the same thing to this. We're going to 
go over to the mesh warp tool and this time we're really going to make it kind of big because this is going to kind of fill up our background and we'll go ahead and apply that and so we're also going to give this a recolor effect and this time let's go with a, like a brighter yellow like that let's lighten it up just a hair maybe not we want to keep some of that contrast in there we can do that We'll drag the recolor adjustment directly onto that layer now. And on this one, let's change the blend mode to lighten again. And the only other thing I would do here probably is on this bottom layer, I would uh, bring the opacity down quite a bit. And I would also add a little bit of a Gaussian blur to it so it's not quite so prominent. I'll make sure we're doing that to the entire layer. So it kind of blends nicely. We can do that as well to the middle layer. Let's grab that middle layer and we're going to apply a Gaussian blur to that as well. Just so it's a little more subtle in the background. I mean, you could even do that to the top layer if you want. Uh, with the top layer, kind of just to sell it again, here is come over to layer effects. Let's go with an outer shadow. Bring the radius up some. The offset. Let's go vertical with that. Bring it up. Maybe drop the intensity down a little bit. So yeah, there you go. That's a very, very simple way to get kind of an elegant looking background. You know, the colors are a little wonky there, but you can see the, uh, the workflow on that. And then you can add in any other elements that you like. A uh, real simple way to use shapes and the Mesh Warp tool to come up with something very flowing and organic. Uh, if you enjoyed that, please hit the like button or think about subscribing to my channel. And until next time, peace. Talk to you later. Bye.